Hey guys, Mr. Jamnik here. Um, wanted to start out by saying, I know we're starting the year with, with, uh, with remote learning, but I also want to explain how we're going to be doing each and every lesson. There's going to be multiple parts, multiple instructional videos with the standards and everything, but we're going to start slow and then gradually build in so you guys understand the concepts of everything. So with module one, uh, when we look at the seventh grade, we're going to, you know, backtrack a little bit as we ended the school year last year. But module one is going to be talking about adding and subtracting integers. And then the standard that goes with that is up here as well. And we'll get to that later, how the standard plays into what you're going to be learning throughout the year. Okay, so, and then I'm always going to be giving you guys the essential question. The essential question is pretty much what you need to know and constantly think about as we're looking at each module, and in this case, about adding and subtracting integers. So the essential question for module one is how do you add integers with the same sign? So we have to go back and think about what integers are, and that's something that we're going to learn as we begin module one and lesson 1.1. So as we're thinking about this, I just wrote this up. This is a little intro or something to motivate just so you guys think about what the lesson is portraying. So again, the module that we're focusing on right now is lesson 1.1, which is adding and subtracting integers. And the essential question that we are going to focus everything around is how do you add integers with the same sign? So all these videos I'm going to show you in the instructional videos as well are all good resources for you guys to constantly use and reference. So when you're looking at this, you know, always use your textbook, uh, the notes I'm giving you, the videos I'm giving you, and just different references. And that's how we're going to guide through each and every lesson. And then I'll always be here to help you guys for each particular lesson and the standard that we're covering. So what I want you guys to begin to think about is the intro. Suppose you're playing on a team, you know, think about it, if you like basketball, soccer, football, baseball, okay? Suppose your team scores, it says right here, negative five points and negative three points during a game. How do you interpret if these scores are good? So if you're looking at that, and again, you're thinking about integers, I have this here, okay? And then you guys are going to get a, a template as well. This is what we're going to call the, we'll put it up here, the number line. Okay, so in the number line, okay, that's where we're going to focus with integers. And then as we go right to left, you're going to think about this, you know, about the lesson, how that's going to help interpret as you walk through it. So your team scores negative five points and negative three points during the game. How do you interpret that if these scores are good? So you should be focusing on the key word, you know, we're going to look here is negative points, right? So if you have negative points, you got to think which way is this going? Is negative going up or down? And in this case, we know that negative, you know, is decreasing. It's going down. So we can think of decrease, right, going down. So these are the points that you don't want to get. You don't want to decrease. You don't want to go down. You want to remain what? You want to go to the opposite side where we're going over here, which is going to bring you to what? Positive numbers. So if I come over here, I'm going to put down positive points, positive points, happy points, where you want to continue, right? So we're going from decrease, but you want to go to the positive aspect, so you're going to go to increase, okay? Increase, and then going up, okay? So we're going to think about that as we mesh and put everything together with the different uh, instructions as we're following. So right now we have how do you add integers with the same sign? So we're just going to begin with the intro and then work our way. So we're always going to focus with a number line. That's the key thing that you guys need to uh, know. So this is going to help you with the duration of every lesson that we're doing for module one. So always when you're focusing you're going to know that in the middle there always has to be zero because you always have to determine and differentiate what numbers are coming to the left of the number line and what numbers are going to the right of the number line and which are going to be uh, negative integers and positive integers. So again, when we're thinking about positive, increase, adding on, all these different things, that is going to let you know that you're going to go to the right. You're always going to the positive, which means that that's going to be to the right of the number line. So we're going to say this is positive. 
okay? And then from zero, you're gonna start counting all the way up. Now, the numbers go on and on infinite, but we're just gonna go up to 10 just to show. Okay, so we're gonna go zero. You wanna put these little intervals to help you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. We'll stop at nine. I want to squish it in. Okay? So those are positive. You can see zero, one, two. You're building up, building up, building up. Those are positive numbers that you want to keep um, looking at. 10, 11, 12. And the reason why we're going to keep using a number line and focusing on that, because when you're adding and subtracting numbers, and then we get into multiplying and dividing, the number line is going to be something that's very key for you to understand and really help you solve each problem. It's just a great reference to use as you move along and you have to count the spaces. We're also going to use counters. You know, you'll see just circles like this that I'll have for you guys, but they'll be in red and yellow. So, you know, if you think about colors, red, right? Red means, you know, stop. So it's kind of like decrease. You can also think about like, you know, we can use green as well, right? Green is go positive. So it's another um, different reference we can use. So now we're going to think of we have positive going to the right. And now we're going to think of we have the negative going always to the left. So even I'll put this here, I'll put it in parentheses, negative left, positive right. Okay? So you're using the same exact numbers that you're using when you're going from the positive. However, you're going negative now. So we're thinking about, just like we used right here in the beginning of the lesson, your team scores negative five points and negative three points. So negative is always decreasing, always. You're always starting with the one, but in front of it, you have to know that you're putting a negative sign because you're building up just as you're going in the positive, but you're going negative. And then this is how I'll show you how we'll build and you work through this using the number line to give you the most key important facts. Same thing. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Let's just slide this down. Eight, and we'll stop at nine, just like we did there. Okay. So now you look. Okay, but now the, this is all positive, right? Because there's nothing in front of it. That's what's understood. When we're going to the left, it has to be a negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine. So this right here is the whole basic that you're really going to be focusing on. And again, we go on, right? Negative 10. You can go back into rules of 5 too as you get a little better at this and you start to practice and really develop the numbers and the integers. Negative 5, negative 10, negative 15, negative uh, 20, and so on. Just like here, positive 5, positive 10, positive 15, positive 20. Okay? There's no need to put the addition sign. Okay, that can just kind of confuse you a little bit. What you want to do is just leave that space here blank. If there's nothing in front of the number, that's just, it's understood that it's a positive number. But you can clearly see these are negative numbers. So that's understood that it's negative. So just like here, negative points, it's decreasing. So you're going from negative 1. So the number that's closest to the 0 from the negative side is the number that's greatest between these. So if, for instance, if I said, what number is greater, a 2 or an 8, you know that you're looking and they're both positive. An 8, obviously greater, right? It's a bigger number that you're using. But when you look at the reference of a negative number, let's say same two numbers. If I use the negative 2 and a negative 8, think about that, okay? Because it may be hard to determine with the negatives. Well, they're both negative, so I don't know which one could be greater. However, you always have to look whatever number is closest, put this here, Closest to zero, okay, is the greatest, we're going to abbreviate, number. And that's how you're going to determine as you're going along and looking at these different problems. So whatever number is closest to zero. So if I gave you a negative 4 and a negative 9, I'm looking at these two numbers. I know clearly, I can see, and now if I'm using the number line, the negative 4 is clearly closer to zero. That's going to be my greater. And this is something that you're going to be using as you're working out and solving different problems. So just want to take a step back and kind of show you guys the dimensions of what we're talking about and how each module, each lesson, I'm going to help you guys determine. So I'm going to stop the video here, and I'm going to pick up to go back to explain everything for you and what you need to know. Um, so have this down, take a look at this, and then when I come back, I'm going to explain all of this and add some more problems to really 
have you guys dig deeper and think about, you know, we're going to obviously always need to know key vocabulary terms, which you always have from your modules when we're doing um, the beginning of each lesson. We'll go over the vocab that you guys are going to need to know. Um, we're going to go over, you know, the key essential question that's going to be helping you throughout each duration. And the reason why I'm going to have these videos for you too is that when you guys are going to be able to log on to my YouTube channel through your JCPSNJ account, you're going to see all these instructional videos so even as we move on you're always going to need stuff, something as a reference so when you're doing that you can always fall back to the video there's obviously always videos I'm going to upload for you guys as well from like Khan Academy um, you're going to have IXL you're going to have your HRW accounts all these things are all going to be great references practice reteaching everything you're going to need to know but the main focus is you know understanding the key concepts and on your Google Classroom I always upload for you your whole entire textbook just like you would have in school in front of you so by each lesson and that's what you guys are going to do for your assignments you're going to see each lesson broken down and then on Google Docs you're going to have to answer the question from when we used to do the your turn how you would rotate and then we would do guided practice independent practice you know from whole group instruction to small group and we you know same thing with uh, DOL exit slip all this stuff's going to be incorporated as we move along and move along um, throughout each lesson so just keep that in mind and then I'll come back and we'll continue to work on lesson 1.1 and again, when you're looking at these videos, don't ever, you know, hesitate if you need to reach out, if you're not understanding something. That's the whole thing with, we're going to do with remote learning. When you're in the class, I'm going to help you guys really break everything down. But I'll get back to that in next video. Um, okay, so everyone just have this. Have a great day. And I will see you next video.